Well, this year at ITU Telecom in Doha, I think it's going to be very exciting because we will be bringing together very different perspectives of where the telecom industry is heading towards. Many countries are already launching LTE, so everyone's into what's broadband all about. And that's when we're beginning to see the real convergence between the telecommunications, the media industry all coming together, not to mention the Internet of Things and N2M. But what's interesting and what's appropriate about having it in Doha as well is that while broadband is what everyone's dealing with and the convergence issues, uh, it's actually quite interesting to see that in many merging countries, they're still struggling with bringing just regular telecom services uh, to the edge. So it'll be good to look into those issues as well. I think there will be a lot of discussions about what is and what is not working about bringing uh, telecommunications, um, bridging the digital divide. What's also very interesting, besides the fact that we're dealing with wearables and M2M, is there's a lot of very exciting infrastructure developments. I'm sure you would have heard about Facebook announcing having drones that are solar powered uh, to try to um, bridge the digital divide. You have uh, Google doing their balloons. Uh, so there's a lot of interesting innovations. I'm here in Indonesia and uh, we have people here such as Ono Purbo who is uh, pushing open BTS. Uh, so these interesting and innovative technologies are going to bring a new dimension to the whole debate. So I think it'll be very exciting to see these two extremes of you know, broadband and all the different applications of broadband and wearables and M2M. Um, and then the other extreme where countries are still grappling with bridging the digital divide and all the different access technologies, business models, financing models that they are struggling with. So that will be a very diverse group and very interesting conversations.